Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another video on Slay the Spire, but this time around I'm actually going to be playing um, with the Ironclad. I'm not really, I don't really feel that confident playing with him, but I've played with him uh, a bit so I can try to see just how far I'll go with him. Um, so for those who have never played Slay the Spire, it's a uh, card building game, or rather I should say a deck building game. Um, and it was based off of um, a little bit of Magic the Gathering, and they went through a bit of data collection to kind of figure out uh, through beta rounds about how people played, and this is kind of what they came up with. Uh, right now, it's actually on the Switch and all these different other platforms, so if you haven't played it yet, I'm sure you can find a way to get it. Um, right now, uh, I have the character named... Uh, Oh boy, what, the Ironclad, yeah. And so, he is um, a character I'm trying to figure out right now. Uh, I can try to kind of explain to folks who've never played uh, what this game is, uh, like rather how to play this game, quote-unquote. Um, it's a little bit open-ended, but uh, you can see here uh, what I've been doing. I'm, <laughs> I'm in no means an expert, but... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and try to tell you as much as I can. So right now, and with all initial stages, you're going to be uh, playing against, uh, not playing against, but uh, see, having a character that uh, you get to choose what kind of boost. These are kind of random. Uh, I think I'm going to try to see and look at my character map, uh, or rather my map here, of the journey I'll take in the first act. Um, the game is broken up to several acts. I think it's like four acts. Uh, and then you'll go and take on the final boss and you'll see how that goes. Um, I don't want to ruin things. Um, so we have our basic enemy. We have our uh, mystery rooms, which are represented by question marks. Uh, let me just try to move myself so you can see that a bit better. Whoops, not that. Uh, let me move my... Self. Okay. So we have our unknowns, which could be like totally random. Sometimes it's boosts or uh, treasures or other things like that. Sometimes it could be an enemy. So you definitely want to watch out for that. Um, merchants, you can buy stuff with the coins that you get. So that's indicated by like the 99 counter at the top left. Uh, treasure, which is a chest that you'll find somewhere on the map here. Uh, so you can see like kind of this entire middle row where all these chests are. Um, fire symbol is for resting, where you can either rest or upgrade your card. Um, and the key kind of is self-explanatory from there. Uh, my strategy is to kind of look at the map and, you know, I do want to go ahead and try to take on as many uh, enemies, or rather elites as possible. Those are kind of like mini, boss, mini bosses uh, because they give you uh, relics, which are kind of like a permanent boost throughout the game so uh i'm when i do when i am looking to take them on i kind of want to just make sure that either there's uh healing beforehand or healing afterhand uh afterwards but uh if if they're so like the one if you look at the far left in the first column uh you can see that uh it's there's an elite wedge between two resting places and that really is something that I think is a great place to do it. Um, and I'll just kind of explain as I keep going through the game. So right now I'm going to go ahead and start with this one here on the second column and traverse my way through. Whoops. Oh, right. I have to choose my boost. So I want to go with eight because that's going to stick with me H hp so now i have 88 and i'm going to go through the second column because i'm going to try to see if i can survive as long as i can because once your hp reaches reaches zero that's not great so i got two enemies over here um and you can see the well the great thing about this is that you can see the name of the uh the enemy and you can see just uh, a great amount of information uh we have the louse which is 15 uh they have a, an ability called curl up which 
uh, allows them to roll up for three damage once they receive attack, and it's a uh, it's aggressive, so you'll have five damage. Uh, that's doing five damage right now. The other one, which looks very similar, uh, intends to inflict a negative effect on you. So um, you'll kind of see what the swing is. So I blocked myself for five. I'm not going to try to get any damage I get for this round from that. And let's see. It's going to try to weaken my attack, so I'm not going to deal that much damage to uh, both enemies. Um, I'm going to first block, make sure I protect my HP, and just take down the weaker guy first. Ooh. So I block the five damage. I have because he's weakened me. I can't really it's just one shot uh, one of the guys. But I'll just go ahead and just work on taking down the weaker louse and done. By next turn, I think he should be done if I have two attack stack. So now I don't have the weak on me anymore, and I'm just gonna go in for the kill. Easy peasy guys. Uh, five week, one week. It's one week is like I'm not gonna stick. Uh, I want to get the armaments card. Yeah. Uh, requires a card with ten or more damage. No. Maybe there's more inside. No, I don't want to use my HP. So we've got one enemy, right? Yeah, one enemy. Okay. Uh, can I raise... Mm. I don't think I'm going to raise the block. Got here, yeah. That should hold off from any HP being taken down. Good. Uh, seven. Trying to get as much damage as possible, and we can, or rather, make him more vulnerable, so more susceptible to damage. Going in for seven. Glad I upgraded my block. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see about chipping away. So going in five. Get with that upgrade. Let me see if I can upgrade my strike, maybe. Yeah. Going in for nine, going in for four. Okay, so he's gonna keep boosting himself by three, I think, right? Maybe. He's already at ten. Uh, block, block. Ugh, I didn't really do much damage. Or any damage, I should say. Uh, boost my block. So I can negate the damage being done. All right. Block, strike them, and this is going to be the payoff. Okay, good. Let's see what we get. 16 gold, add a card to the deck. Um, I want to do the spot weakness. Because I want to just go ahead and kind of make um make my character continuously get stronger. Uh, I want to end up going on the the far left path, 
So, uh, but I do want to see what I can purchase in the market. Maybe I can get like a, a relic and that would be great. Oh, why did I do that? That was dumb. I should have, I automatically dismissed it by mistake. All right, that's fine. That's fine. No harm, no foul. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead with, since he's not gonna really strike me, I'm just gonna go ahead and take advantage of that. Uh, intends to do some harm to me. So I'm gonna go on block and go in for nine. It's gonna chip me at one, but I think I can recover it easy at the end, thanks to the relic that I have for this burning blood at the end of combat, gain six, yeah, six HP. Uh, do I want to bother? Actually, hold on. Nine times thirty to twenty-seven. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. I'll just, I'll just go straight for the strikes, and that'll be done. Easy. I have iron six metallicize. I think metallicize allows you to keep on recovering of, of your block. I'm not sure. I have to check that out. Um. 20 damage, but that's kind of a high cost card. Whenever you draw a status or curse card, deal 6 damage to all enemies. That's great. Um, especially for the multi bosses, where well, it's kind of splits off. Um, or ones that try to inflict burn on you. That's great too. Um, but it's not guaranteed. I want to do Rampage. I think I'm gonna. that's going to help go with the theme my deck which is going to just continuously boost me um or what they call aggro I hopefully I'm saying it correctly um uh, what do I want to upgrade because my health is full increase damage by 8 increase strength by 4 strength goes across yeah upgrade all cards in your hand I think that's what I want to do because it's multiple cards at once Yep. All right. Let's take on our first elite. All right. So these guys, I remember taking on. They're very tricky. So they kind of invert. So the middle one will attack. In the second round, the both outsides will attack, but the middle one will give you a status kind of card. <laughs> Which I should have gotten the other card, but it's fine. Um, gonna go ahead and block for now. And just deal nine damage to the outer guy. So that way I can at least alternate the uh, attacks being given. Yeah, see, each of these dazed cards would have really helped. Um, but that's totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and spot weakness on this guy to keep trying to wail on him. Uh... So, uh, let's do 11 damage straight off the bat, get him done, block for 8, and wail on that guy for 9. Not great, but let's see. I don't want to do the. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll see. That does eight, and go for twelve. Okay. All right. Cool. So that was blocked. Uh. Just get rid of that guy. So all my ethereals are kind of... I mean, all those days are kind of like... Crumbling out, which is fine. Um, I'm going to go for that. 
I couldn't play the other spot weakness card because he wasn't attacking. That was just doling out statuses, and that does not count as an attack, apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade all my cards. Um, block for eight. Just Yeah, that way it just won't keep taking damage, at least. And I think I might be ready to, yeah, one shot. There we go. I really like that card, by the way. Um, enemies and elite have 25% less HP. Thank you. Take my colorless potion. And whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. I don't know how often that happens. I don't necessarily have that in my deck right now. Um, so I, maybe it's more appropriate for later on. Uh, but I will take the 5 block, 5 damage. I think that's really helpful. Uh, good job. We didn't really walk away scarred with that. What can we get in our chest? 26. What's First time you lose HP each combat, draw 3 cards. Okay. I'm not sure... That's going to be helpful for me, per se, the way I play. But we'll see. Ooh. Attack, gain four strength. Can't really do that right now, can I? Yeah, it's going to go to waste. Um, already blocked enough, so I'm going to go ahead and get that guy. So the thing about these louses now, as you can see... Uh, once I strike them, they're going to go ahead and put it, get put up their like, shields or whatever, their defenses. So it's not necessarily a good move to just keep stacking attacks on them. It's better to let them, at least in my opinion, burn it out. Um, yeah, get rid of that guy who's attacking me. Uh, and just spread my attacks. So that way they're just going to have their... Uh, full HP exposed, I would say. Okay. Use my five, six. Uh, okay, yeah. So I can negate the seven, and that way the five's not going to do anything to me. Look at that, I'm still at 88, which is great. Uh, do my Rampage and the Strike, and I think that should take care of them. Yep. Explosive Potion. Uh, at the start of your turn, lose one HP and draw a card. Oh, that would have been paired well with that other card. But I would like to... Yeah, I don't think... No, I think in the later stages, each each HP thing counts. So, I don't necessarily... Won't be guaranteed that I'll find a way to remove that card when it's no longer relevant to me. Uh, go for... I don't have anything that blocks, right? So... Gonna go for that, and gonna go for that. Uh, it couldn't be helped, but I'll get extra card or three cards? Yeah, extra three cards. Uh, do the five and five. Guard me for five, guard me for another five. Let's go. No damage. Uh, yeah. Upgrade my card. And I got a five block. Mm. Yeah, I'll be patient. I'm just getting for 13.
so three strength. Hmm. Well, I don't think I'll do that just yet. I'm still a pretty patient guy. So now he's at not going to do any damage. Yep. And just got him for both. Back up to 82 HP. I think Sever Soul is too dramatic because you're exhausting them. So you better play that and be like, that should be like your last move out of desperation. Otherwise, it's just sitting there. Uh, I don't want to add wounds. Thunderclap might be good, but as a as an opener, I never want to take chances with these because I don't know what kind of monsters. They could totally wipe me out. All right, next guy. Finally, I'm not. <laughs> Accidentally dismissing him. Okay. Uh, add a random attack. I always like that kind of thing. It's a little spicy. It's a little up to chance, but I don't know. Ooh. This is. I like this card. Cause I think I have. I think I have a vulnerable. So let me check my deck. We have a vulnerable. The bash. We have a vulnerable status here. So, what am I inflict? Right, a debuff. Yeah. Oh, we only have two thirty-one. You know what? I'm gonna go with the lantern. I feel like that's gonna come in super handy. Wait, do I have enough? No. Who is in my... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get a card for him. You know what? I think I'll, I'll do the Infernal Blade because I feel like I might luck out and get like a really awesome card in some plays. Ooh, I hate this guy. So he's going to keep trying to mug me. Um, yeah. Hiya. I think I might make quick work of this one. How much would I deal with to him? Nine, right? Yeah, so quick work done. 83. Fruit juice. Gain five max HP. Yes. Uh, I'll discard that. Take my fruit juice. Let me drink my fruit juice right now, please. Thank you. Up to 93. Uh, Power or attack? Oh, that's not it. I don't really have a power. I could do that to Rampage, but... Maybe. You know, I'll do Headbutt. Because that will be a great way to call card. I did 4 HP. I know that's controversial. Especially because it's an early boss. But I did what I did. No take backsies. Um, and now I can call him back for the next one.
Oh, okay. Lucked out. Um, cause that was a that was a crazy amount he was gonna hit before. Nine. I can't attack the guy because he's got spikes on him. And if I hit him, it's gonna knock me for three. So it's not a smart move. Uh, let's block. Try to block as much as I can. Oh, I should probably use Metallicize. Ooh, that's a big one. Block, 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 and drink. The only way I turn gain six block, yeah. Alright, cool. No, sir. Nothing on me. Alright. 27 damage. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. 15. Put him back into his shell, I think. Uh, put top of my draw pile. Um... Whatever. Uh, gain my five block and boost myself. Um, and just call it a, a day for now. Yeah. He's not going to be able to do anything. gonna have to choose to block again. Eight, five, plus the additional six. Nope. Okay. Uh, 50, right? Oh boy. So he's gonna go for 20 damage on me. Oh, sweet. Deal 16 damage with one weak and one vulnerable. Thank you. Brings him down to 12. Uh, do I want to block? Can I interrupt him? 9 and 9, no. I don't think so. Alright. I think I'll just go ahead and try to defend and... Go. Yeah. End the turn. So just hit me for one. Yeah. No biggie. Okay. Can I keep doing it? No. Hit him for 35. Yeah, let me hit him for 35. Upgrade for SNGs and why not block? Go ahead. Not like it's gonna be done and doing anything to me anyway, right? Uh coming at me for nine. Just wanna go ahead and block. Uh I think I could probably gain enough block and still take a hit and be fine, right? No, actually, I'm going to end it so I can add another six. Yeah. And that's just going to negate the attack. Okay. Oof. Block, please. Block again. And block some more. That metallicize really comes in handy. Coming at me for 20 again. God. Doing that, maybe? I'm doing that? It's gonna hit me for six. Ooh. Not fair. Fuck. 
him? 20, I don't know. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah, it's gonna go defense mode. Totally fine. Self some shot. I'd have nothing to protect myself with. Uh, whatever. Just end it. It's gonna hit me for three. Yeah. Uh, ooh, forty-three. He's gone. I didn't even care. He hit me for three again. Double your strength and exhaust. Oh, the strength's temporary. Barricade, that's too high card to cost. Fiend fire, exhaust your hand, deal seven damage for each card exhausted. No, I'm not I'm not playing wild like that. Start of your turn, draw two additional cards. Start confused. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to give strength to the other enemies. You can no longer see enemy intense. You know what, I'm, I'm just going to skip this. Thank you. Not great. Not great. Alright, great. We're at Act 2 now. Do I play it? Play in the smart... What I hopefully think is a smart manner. Uh... A lot of these elites don't really have, like, a, a resting point, like, even going into an elite. But, I mean, you can exit feeling that, but, I mean, these elites can be tricky now. So, I think, I'm going to try to take a path where there's no elites. So, I'm going to start with second to last here. Coming at me for ten. <laughs> sure, yeah, that's what I want to do. Thank you. Uh, do that and do that. Oof. Uh, get me a random attack, please. Mm, not that great. Go ahead for the bash. And then call it a day. Uh-oh. What if I smack him... For that, smack him for that, block. I forget he does those hexes. Okay, so you intend to attack me, so I'm gonna get some strength. Uh, do some vulnerable. Do that. Put to the top. The thunderclap. I have nothing to defend myself with, so I'm gonna eat that 16. Ow. But it's gonna be done. Let's see. Clash is improbable because it's like. I don't think the way my deck is balanced, I'm gonna have an issue with pulling up attacks. Uh, loses two strength and exhaust. I don't like exhaust cards. Deal six damage. Deals two additional for all your cards contain strike. Let's see what, how many you have. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a clap. You have five. Wait, did I have... 
Um. I guess. No, I do not want to become cursed. I don't have anything that will help me with it. Oh, I get that curse. Uh. Yes, question mark, please. Oh, come on. Taking them on is really hard, so I'm just going to go ahead and just give them my gold. I'm fine. I'm fine. Sad face. Fine potions. Ooh, get that one. I think I get the block punishing done. Oh, I hate this buddy. So not only does he end up blocking, but then he'll keep adding to that block. Try to make it hard to even reach the 20 HP there. Uh... And he's got three artifacts, so I have to get through those artifacts in order to do any serious damage because I have a boosting deck. Um, yeah. Look at that, 49. How does anyone get through that? So blocking for five, blocking for eight. My Rampage card might help. Comes with these insane ones too. Look at that. Uh, leave them. Uh, that good. Finally touched his HP. Hit me for one. Just get that 15 back again. Uh, goodness. Just hit the block. Ow. Raise my block. Yeah, with eleven. Thank you. You're done. I don't think I've run into that situation again. With losing HP from a card. Duplicate. Nope. Let me go ahead and keep trying to avoid it. An elite. Lose the relic. Lose this relic, burning blood. Centennial puzzle. I think I'll swap out the centennial puzzle. Sure, why not? Just want to know what the heck I got. Is that triple the chance of finding rare cards from combat rewards? Nice. That was a good trade. Um. This is terrible. Like, WTF with this, man. Still hit me for six. Like, how do you...
still hit me for a lot. This is not good, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to outlast this guy. Oh, wait, no. I, I could because the fairy in the bottle, but man, this is a pain in the butt. that rampage back. Damn, dude. It's not letting up. I wish I had artifacts. Finally finish this guy off. Yes. Thank goodness for that potion. Um, can I draw additional cards this turn? No. 20 block? No. I don't really find those cards great, but... Oh, I hate this duo. So I sort of behind him goes ahead and heals him and uh, heals both of them at the same time. I think every even number turn or something like that. Ooh. So the, the move is to try to get rid of the healer as quickly as possible. I don't know if I can do that, but we'll see. can't damn it yeah see Lock myself for a little bit. Ugh. not good. I need to get rid of that guy quickly. Five and five. Um, what's this 
got a 16. I'm gonna go with the 12 block. Let's see how much time that gives me. Um, nine. Do that. Defend myself. And let's see, let's see how far that goes. Okay. I only have this here. So I think I'm going to be brought down to nine. Yeah. Not great, guys. Just barely made it out. Um, I think it's fine. Every time, every three times you shuffle your draw pile, gain two. Okay. Can this be a healer? Or am I gonna? Okay. Do I have fifty-six coins on me. Guess I'll go with this. There's nothing else I can do. Another one. Why is there no... Boy. Nope. Not even something for a poor dude like me. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to take my chances. See what it leads. This is not good. Not good at all. Get that. Uh... Oh, why did I do that? Going for two. I have no way to defend myself. Well, almost no way. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to go with, so wait, I have 13 left, this guy's going to deal 6, and I have another dude that's going to hex me in a bit. What the heck do I do with these cards? Uh, YOLO? I'm going to put at the top of my draw pile this card. Thank you. Yes. Gate that damage. Oh, dear God. All right. Drink the potion. Gain another eight. Might be the last one. I 
I have no potions left. The guy's gonna go at me for 22. I've only got five left. Uh, I can only defend myself for eight points. Or can I get out of this somehow? Five, five. That's, that's 13. Can I make somebody weak? No. I'm going down with the ship. Inadequately prepared. 225. 29 floors. Not so bad. All right. And with this, I think I'm going to say that uh, I think it did pretty well, but you know, um, could do a bit better. But this was pretty fun. And. I hope you enjoyed it as well. So um, if you enjoyed it, please go ahead, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.